God is a tricky thing to try to explain to people, or especially prove. There are lots of different ways we can try to prove God. Now, when I say proving God, that's a really large topic to cover. There's lots of different ways that we can go about doing that. One way I think is good to start with, especially if you're studying with somebody who isn't a Christian, or if you aren't a Christian yourself, is to not start out with the God of the Bible, but to start out with the simplest terms of a God, a deity, a higher power. The reasoning for this is because the Christian God, the God of the Bible, is really complex and has a lot of different aspects to him. So if you start out with figuring out, is there a God, not, not a specific type of God, but is there a God, then you can follow the logical path to the God of the Bible much easier. One concept that does really, really well at explaining why there could be a God is the concept of moral law. Moral law is the idea that, as humans, we all have a certain set of higher standards implanted in our heads that tell us right from wrong. Throughout time, humans have had many different civilizations, and they've all had different values. But some of the values have stayed the same throughout the course of time. The values of familial love and respecting one another and not causing harm to anybody without reason. These ideals have lasted throughout the centuries and through many different civilizations. Moral law is tied to the idea of having a conscience, something inside of us that tells us right from wrong. We get weird feelings when we're doing something wrong, something that doesn't feel quite right, and we get good feelings when we are doing something right. Not very many people would disagree with the fact that there is right and wrong. Very few people would disagree that killing somebody in cold blood without any reason whatsoever is wrong to do. But why is it wrong though? Who, who determined that it was wrong? If the Earth had just popped into existence by chance, the Earth would be meaningless. No, there wouldn't be any right or wrong. Everyone would have their own standards of what they thought was right and wrong, and they would all be vastly different from each other. The sense of right and wrong that we all have doesn't even align with our instincts. Sometimes our instinct is to do the wrong thing, but we know it's wrong, so instead we force ourselves to do the right thing regardless of our instincts. Our conscience, our sense of right and wrong, doesn't align with evolutionary principles either, like survival of the fittest. The right thing sometimes is not in our own best interest, but in the interest of someone else, but we still feel compelled to do it. So if moral law does exist, then that means something or someone had to make it. Some sort of higher power had to determine what was right and wrong and implant it in us. Nothing else can really explain why we have this sense of right and wrong inside of us. It's not like we, as a collective humanity, decided, well, this is right and this is wrong and that's how it's gonna be. It wouldn't be like that because we're all different. We all want what's best for us. There's not really any other explanation for this. So if you figure out that right and wrong does exist, then that means this moral law that I'm talking about does exist and there's some sort of higher power, some sort of God. Now, what God entails requires more study, but aside from all of that, the conscience that we have, the sense of right and wrong, the moral law that we all have, requires there to be a higher power of some sort. Now, moral law doesn't do a whole lot to prove much about the God of the Bible other than the morals that he has. But moral law could be the first step in helping somebody understand that there is a God, and that God created us, and he loves us, and he sent his son to die on the cross for us and rise again. When you're studying to try to figure out what you believe or helping somebody to figure out what they believe, you can't just throw a bunch of information at them. You have to take it in smaller steps. So if you're ever struggling with doubts about whether God exists or you're trying to help somebody else see that he does exist, I hope moral law can help you to see that as the universe exists, it requires God. It needs God to exist or else there would be no meaning.